All right, gentlemen, we're queued for the tourney. No trolling, and we need to hard sweat. Let's get through the first round, then worry about the second. Uh, I say that. That's my thing, being I'm the host of the party and the one who queued us up. Learn your place, Bill. Now I'm worried we're going to lose because we broke the sanctity of Joe telling us to hard sweat when we all know we're going to. But he still says it for some reason. A friendly reminder never hurts anyone, like when my nurse tells me to take my dementia medication. Sometimes I forget, and that reminder helps. Man, Jay Dizzle got that extra chromosome in him. Dementia isn't an extra chromosome issue. It's more like your mind just doesn't want to play Rocket League no more, but your body does. So your mind gets off, and your body solo cues. Appreciate the analogy, but Jesus Christ, look at these sweaty ass names. Ligis, devil with a period, and boogie with a period. All lowercase. We're either in for hell or a free win because these kids are wannabe pros. All right, focus up. You go for the kickoff, Joe. Trying to put it back right. Hopefully y'all are there. Oh yeah, this guy is trash. That kickoff he just did was trash. He was going slower than Messi was going when he lost the World Cup in 2014. Bro really got dusted and said that he was going slow on the kickoff. Crazy opinion, but roll on with yourself, my boy. I don't think Messi was even that upset with the 2014 loss. Bro knew he was going to eventually come back and win the whole thing. That was a solid game, though, so it was probably a tough one to lose. We need to get this off our side. I swear we've been here for like a good 30 seconds. There we go, thank God, now we can reset. Our boost may be down, but our spirits are up. We're gonna win this shit, and I think we're gonna win this whole tournament. Easy for you to say, Bill. You ain't been supplying any offense so far this game, and I expect something to change. Otherwise, we're going to get ran through in the later half of this game. Well, in all fairness, none of us have been actually doing any offense. We're just gonna have to counterattack like a viper and then take what we can get. Down to you, Obama, shoot it. Holy, what a pass, what a slot. Get shit on you lowercase bitches, we're in there like, like something, I don't know what, but we're in there like something. What a team play, boys, we like to see that. Well done, guys. But Obama, if you're gonna make a comparison, you need to have it ready, otherwise you look like a fool when you stutter. I don't stutter. I strategically paused during my sentence in order to accurately say what I was going to say originally. But sometimes I say it too fast and I don't want to screw it up. Sounds like the exact excuse I tried to use every time I said it, though, I would get put down as a dementia patient. Which isn't wrong, but dang, just let me win one, please, Fox News. Brojo recognized the goal I just did. Shit might not have been pretty, but it went in. And now we're up two goals within two minutes of the start of the game. Sit back and let Poppy Obama carry. Why didn't you ask me why I didn't recognize it? What kind of targeted bullshit is that Obama? Are you really going to just ignore me like I ain't even here? Mad disrespectful, I'm offended. Sorry the lack of plays you're making on the field is making it hard to remember that you're actually a part of this team. Start producing and I'll produce some conversation for you, little bro. Yeah, you can't expect to be talked to a lot if you ain't doing anything on the field. Where is that flip reset monster we had in the in-houses? I expect something to change, otherwise we'll change the roster. Did I hear a roster change was in order? Yeah, we're running the tourney right now with Bush and Ben. God, my brain cell count is in the negatives with those guys. Please pick me back up. Good shot, Obama. Also, Donald, how the fuck did you get in here? How did you know we were talking about dropping Bill if he doesn't start producing? Did you bug our comms? Bro, I swear to God, if you have a bot in here listening to us play, I'm gonna be so pissed. Donald, you gotta stop being that creepiest girlfriend that won't let go of the high school relationship y'all had like 10 years ago. Move on, bro. We'll contact you if we think you're a better option. But come on, man, uh, fine. Joe, nice shot. I think Donald might have a crush on you or something. Bro won't let the pass go. Shit's mad weird. I love how we're in the first round and we've already made it up to four goals in the first two minutes. We're doing insanely well for not really talking. Well, I mean, I'm doing well, Bill. You ain't even scored, let alone really touched the ball all that much. Bro, just let that go. If we're winning, we're winning. Don't start talking about dropping. If we're not even through the first round yet, just brings out the negative vibes and causes us to start talking shit on each other. Well, if it makes you feel better, I would talk shit anyway. The doctor says I only got a few years of coherence left before dementia takes me. Might as well use that time to be toxic as shit to everyone. Let's go, my parlay hit. I knew it. Joe loses his mind. Three years or under for plus 500. Let's go. I hit, I hit, Michelle. I hit, Michelle. I'm about to hit you if you don't knock all that screaming off. You said you were done sports betting, but lo and behold, your stupid self is still doing it. God. Well, damn, that took a turn for the worst. Hey, bro, you better share that parlay hit because I'm trying to buy Jill a present for our anniversary. 
Damn, it ain't even sports season and you're betting on someone's mental competence. That's real degen moves on my mama. No wonder Michelle is mad. Damn, I ain't even gonna share the winnings with her. Screw that. Better share them with me at least. Rather would share them with someone who would set it on fire in front of me. Wow, that's so toxic, Obama. I helped you hit and you're doing this to me? Watch this. Faking cap, shooting, slotted, slotted, slotted. You put it right down the middle that ain't a slot. That's a normal ass shot. You ain't that guy, pal. Well, I think this game is over. Yep, they forfeit. First round over. Now on to the next one. Let's get it, my boys. I'll try to show out more in the second round. You know your stats are ass when you have five centered balls under your name in the post-match screen. Come on, man, you need to do more than show out. You need to blow out everyone next game. Round two, let's go. We usually get through the first two rounds, Bill, and then when it comes to the later rounds, it's more so we just can't finish. I believe in you. That first round was more like a warm-up because if we lost, we'd just do second chance. Yeah, first round is always a warm-up. All right, we're playing Unruly Venom, so that's a pre-generated team name. It's either a two-stack with a random or they're all randoms. We got this. Focus up, boys. Yes, sir, let's win out. We got this. All right, boys, let's not troll or start being toxic. We win this if we stay composed and execute our play the way we want to. Adapt to the people we're playing against. We win, not a problem. All right, round two it is. To the moon, gentlemen. I personally think we're playing better than we have been in the previous matches. Honestly, I wouldn't count us out of the finals. We're playing solid. Let's keep it up. You say that now? Just wait when we get NRG Justin on the other team and we're begging him to throw because we know we're not going to win. Damn, Obama, I thought you were supposed to be friendly and shit. All them videos of you relating with people made you seem so chill. Turns out you're just a negative ass person. I'm going for this ball, going to score. Shit, I missed. Got you, Jay Dizzle. Winning the round like we're a drizzle. What does that even mean, Bill? I'm not toxic, I'm a realist. We're going to get clapped by some bro because this is the 12 tourney and you know damn well there is always a pro carrying their friends to a free title. Every single time. Ask Joe. Yeah, he ain't lying, Bill. We lost to Tristan a few times and then had, I think it was squishy in one when we did an SSL tournament. Was brutal back in the day. And even now there's still pros carrying a friend to a tourney win. Mad, sad, no lie really devalues the title. No wonder people call you shit and carried every time you join a game with that pink title you got on. They think you were carried, which you probably were, but you have a case because they don't know for sure. Hey, yo, that's toxic as shit, man. Why are you coming after me with all that negative ass yee yee roasts? We picked you up to play good and hit flip resets, not grill me like the public grilled you when you were called out for having relations with Monica. That was alleged. No proof was ever found aside from her saying it happened and the tapes that were recorded. Well, maybe some proof was found, but that was never concrete. Nice cut and shot, Joe. Also, Bill, it was concrete. You were a fool to think anyone didn't believe y'all were kissing and shit. It's like Donald saying he didn't try to silence Stormy Daniels. He can say that all he wants shit is still true. I, it was a fair trade. She doesn't say anything and I pay her money. Win-win. Stop talking about me, bro. You're mad crushing on me. The only thing I'm crushing on is you being in this voice call and weighing it down. You're crushing the life out of Bill and me just by being above us in the call. Screw you, man. I'm on a diet now. Michelle got me on that healthy food she put elementary and middle schoolers on in like 2010. Even though that shit didn't work, she said she has hopes I might lose a few pounds. Bro, Michelle was a rat for that. She turned Taco Tuesday into Teriyaki Tuesday. That shit wasn't even teriyaki. It was more like flavored rubber. Joe, you know, you're like 80. You never ate a school lunch that modern day kids have. You had like fucking turkey and freshly slaughtered chicken back in your day. Don't mean I can't pull up to the cafeteria every now and then just to cop some of the new food for free. They even have ice cream in some schools now. Bro, what in the hell are you talking about? Jesus, Joe, you can't just go to schools and steal food from kids. Off the backboard, someone score. Got you, Obama, let's go nice pass. As the great Dr. Seuss said, Finders, keepers, losers, weepers, ain't my fault. I beat all the kids to the cafeteria and get to get the best food. L plus ratio on them is all I can say. Going back right on the kickoff hit me there, Joe. Holy boomer, Joe, what are you doing that wasn't back right, more like mid right? I probably could have hit that you should drop Obama and pick me up. Drop you off your current diet and give you some apples or some shit. Bro, when you start weighing as much as a baby rhino, you need to think maybe McDonald's every day isn't good for you. Did you not hear me earlier? 
Michelle has me on a diet, and we're actively trying to lose weight. Get off me with your Clinton mentality. You and Hillary are like those crazy bitches from Hocus Pocus. You look like the blonde-haired one. That kickoff was goaded on the sticks. I beat anyone could hit it. Maybe you were just slow Obama. It's all right. Don't be afraid to admit it. You beat? You beat anyone could hit it? Jesus, man, what is wrong with you? Donald, we're going to replace Joe, and you can be the new Joe. Yikes, does that mean I have to act like I have dementia and shit? Or can I just, you know, not have dementia? We have to keep up with standards, so let's just assume you have to and then play it off if you don't want to have dementia. But you will have to be president again, and I think you're honestly never going to win it. So having this to fall back on probably wouldn't be that bad. Going a hard pass on that big bro, not trying to have the legacy Biden is generating. Hey, assholes, I'm right here, and you want to talk about legacy? How many times have you been impeached again? Bro, you got more cases on you than R. Kelly. Let's go with a snipe for me. R. Kelly does have a lot of cases, Donald. Maybe you're worse than Joe. Who knows? You all should really just box and solve this problem. Who's the better president? O.G. McGee, who's been on this planet since World War II. Or the guy who is also O.G., but has been on this planet a little after World War II. The weight class will be an issue, though. Yeah, you're like double my weight, big fella. Ain't going to be able to box you. Actually, I could just run around in circles and you'll tuck her out no problem. You'll pass out from doing too much moving. Hey, guys, we won. Stop fighting. We're winning the heck out of this tourney and Donald got first rounded. Screw him. We don't need him in the Discord. Don't give him the time of day. Hey, bro, lighten up. We're just talking. Love the view mentality you got going on. Really classifying yourself as a daytime show host who sits on a panel and talks about problems they don't really care about. Yeah, this is an OG conversation, and I understand you're new to some degree, but you just got to let this shit play out. We'd sell so many pay-per-view tickets, we might as well win the lottery. We wouldn't have to work a day in our lives again because of how many sales we'll get from this boxing match. Well, I won't have to win the lottery. I already won enough to where I have won the lottery like four times over. Don't put me in this equation. Guys, I don't think there will be a boxing match happening. Donald is just out of my weight limit. God, Joe, will just put you up against some six-foot, 150-pound person. Would that make you feel better? Jesus, you got more specifications for who you want to fight than McGregor. Next round of the tourney on the 4th of July. We need to win this for America. Some say let freedom ring. I say, when did freedom stop ringing? Let's go, boys. Let's win this. If there's one thing I love about this country, it's that people come together on holidays but hate each other every day. The perfect balance. That's what makes America great. But what's no great is that I think Joe said the videos are going to slow down. What you said, like two a week and no change on weekends. God, man, this sucks. I enjoy playing with y'all. Yeah, the creator of these videos needs to start an internship or some shit, which, I mean, who cares? Just make content not that hard. But you know what can you do? We're just the puppets, and he's the puppeteer. Imagine starting an internship midway through the summer and expecting that to be beneficial. Ha ha, what a fool. Relax there, Obama. He's still writing for us right now. Don't piss him off, otherwise you're going to get roasted like the use of a Minuteman missile. Bring it on, you old bitch. I've seen walking geese with more IQ than you. You are the equivalent of a walking Model T spurting like a goddamn cartoon. Coming from the man who is losing hair faster than he's losing supporters. That's both ways. Invalid roast bitch, self-reflect and try again. You know, gents, maybe it's a good idea not to roast each other right before the match. Keeping the cool and mental fresh is how we win. No, that's not. Tired of that hubby-dubby shit, man. What is this a Build-A-Bear workshop? Us roasting is fueling the nuclear reactor that keeps our play good until we choke. Which sometimes happens, but that just goes to show you can't really trust a nuclear reactor at Chernobyl. Bro really just referenced a nuclear power plant. Bro, you better stop, otherwise Putin and his bitch boys are going to start throwing shade our way. Might even threaten the use of nukes for the hundredth time this week. I, yo, Joe, love you, and all but Chernobyl is inside of Ukraine. Russia held it for a bit, but then realized, yo, this place mad toxic and left. So, uh, yeah, might want to know that for the future. Don't forget, gang, I'm supporting this guy in 2024. Well, actually, I don't know. Depends how many Mac flurries you're going to get me the next time we go to McDonald's. Bro, Jill said you need to cut back. You keep going and getting like three, you're going to get diabetes and then you're going to be unable to support anyone, not even your own insulin production. Worth. Keep on going is all I got to say. 
Rather die like the hero instead of living long enough to see myself become the villain. Bro, stop referencing Dark Knight quotes Master Wayne. Oh shit, there I go doing it. Damn, what a classic. Heath Ledger might be the best Joker ever. Everyone's sleeping on Joaquin Phoenix, even though he's probably the best Joker I've ever seen in the movies. And I saw the original one with Jared Leto. Wait, was that original one? Anyway, that guy was probably the most trash Joker I've seen. On God, that Joker was probably the most cringe one I've seen. Can't believe they thought making the Joker like a two-bit gangster instead of like, you know, being an actual villain like he was in Dark Knight was a good idea. I actually like the Heath Ledger Joker more, but can we stop talking and just keep playing the game? Maybe start hard talking some. When we go down one, you can talk about us talking. Until then, shut the fuck up, Bill, and keep the conversation relevant. You know what, here you go. There I scored. You happy? God. Lucky bounce, but I guess you're okay. Holy, can you stop talking in the chat? These guys are talking about that kid that referenced me being his rabbi at the Game Awards. Jesus, I will never get away from that. I'm not a rabbi and stop saying that in the comments. That kid was funny as shit. And can you believe people actually clapped for him? That's wild. Bill Clinton, the rabbi, sounds kind of catchy when you think about it. Maybe you could stick with that. Bill tried to finish that. Holy, what a miss. All right, Daddy Obama got this. Nice shot, Obama, really making up for me and Bill's choke. We need to slow it down some, Bill. We're going too fast, and it's causing us to screw up our shots. We're like Lightning McQueen when we need to be like Tomater. Whoa, you hear that? Tomater to mutter, ha, ha, ha. I never heard that before. Jesus, what a child you are. Yes, it's tomato, but said like Larry the Cable Guy or how the creator of these videos says it. How did you not notice that? It's a conspiracy. It's a government cover-up. Where's Shane Dawson when you need a Mandela Affect video? Bill, shut up. You're talking too much about shit you shouldn't be talking about. We at the Presidential Rocket League YouTube channel have not heard of any conspiracy theories that might put us on a hit list for the CIA. We do not endorse what Bill just said. Bro, are you good? What the fuck did you just say? Joe might be having a flashback of when he played Black Ops and got PTSD. Already up three to zero in one minute. Guess we gotta buy this round, that's hype. You guys think the viewers wanna sit through this entire match or do you think we're going to choke? Usually it's around five goals when we call it. If we get up five, we'll call it. So hopefully we'll get there. Man, I doubt we will. We usually choke in the later half of the game because they figure out our play. But hey, you never know. We might be able to do something we've never been able to do. Like form a coherent sentence? Yeah, get unexpectedly roasted. Just thought of that shit on the whim. Wow, what a roast, Bill. So funny. You should join the, hey, I just stole a roast because forming my own is hard club. Bro, we've said that shit like 200 times in these videos. Back off, that's already copyrighted. Kind of beating a dead horse there, Bill. Heard that thousands of times and it really doesn't affect me anymore. Honestly, that could just be your dementia, progressing past a state that you can't recover. I mean, just a theory. Oh, ha ha, another dementia joke. Add that to the count. God, Obama, I thought you were better than this. And I thought you were mentally fit to be president. Bill, can you shut the fuck up? You literally are wearing a Logitech headset. Look at you, look at you. Broke ass bitch, couldn't do good in office, so he got in a relationship with an intern. Wow, big money moves. Hillary should have dumped your ass, but hey, shit attracts shit. Oh damn, he cooking. Let him cook, let him cook. How much you wanna bet your ass has a tracker in his suit in case the Secret Service loses him? Bro trying to sneak out to go to the ice cream truck instead of doing his job. At least Donald didn't take the paycheck. No one can say he was a shit president because man wasn't getting paid for it. You, on the other hand, are getting paid to sign shit you don't know what for. You were getting paid to lie to the American people. At least I'm honest, you lie more than the majority of Congress when they put that 1K page bill out that no one reads and in small print, it's like 200 million to Pelosi or some shit. Hey bro, you talking too much like that guy who figured out how to run a car on water that went missing. I'm just saying, bro, you're going to down a street you won't escape from. The big company's going to be on your ass. Let them come and I'll drop roast on their ass too. I ain't stopping for nothing. I'll cook in Rocket League and I'll cook a big oil corporation. I don't care. Cooking your chromosome and brain cell count all at once. Wombo combo. Good job, Joe. If we roast, we win. If we don't roast, we don't win. Simple maths, we need to just keep up the toxic play and the toxic play will be rewarded. Now that's Cap, all I'm saying is that if we're going to roast, let's not roast on the same shit we've been roasting on for the past like three months. Shit's mad annoying. Dementia, chromosomes, crazy world, you guys are as washed as George Lopez. Hey man, Lowrider was my alarm all throughout the 2000s. Can't help that shit is stuck in my head. Well, there's the fifth goal. Do you guys think the viewers want to see us shit on these kids more? Probably, but who cares? They enjoy us cooking each other.
or me cooking everyone else. We should cook these gamers who are trying to talk in the chat. You know, that brings me to the main question. Y'all want ice cream or Domino's tonight? Jill was talking about being, it's the fourth and all. I could get some pizza and share with you guys. We getting wings too, or are we just gonna share a medium pizza like they did in fucking middle school, where everyone gets 1 15th of a pizza with a plastic cup of Hawaiian punch? I mean, that's uh, maybe she just said pizza or ice cream, but not going to lie, I'm leaning towards the vanilla deliciousness that I haven't had in like a minute. But I mean, if you want pizza, we'll get pizza. Obama, what do you think? I feel like pizza is the go-to here, but I don't think from Domino's. Pizza Hut is way better and actually tastes like pizza while Domino's tastes like you. Whoa, hold up there, buddy boy. You're talking out of your ass there. Domino's is the equivalent of Italian pizza and has the ability to make me happy while Pizza Hut makes me want to cry after eating one slice because my heart is already going into cardiac arrest. I hate to say it, but Joe is right, Obama. If you're trying to get Domino's, then you're getting fresh dough that isn't ass cheeks. While Domino's charges 15 bucks for a pizza, even with a coupon nowadays, and tastes like hogwash. You know what, if we score in the next 30 seconds, we'll get Pizza Hut. But if we don't, we get Domino's. Oh, free shot, slotted, Domino's it is. Joe, you fool, you said if you score, you're getting Pizza Hut. We're not getting Pizza Hut, right? Well, I mean, if we break off the sanctity of Joe's word, then we might as well let this tournament fall through. Pizza Hut was declared if we scored. We scored, Pizza Hut it is, just how it goes. No, 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 God, please, this can't be happening. Wake up, Bill, wake up. Ah, shit, I did say that, didn't I? Well, I guess we're just gonna have to get Pizza Hut. Sucks to suck, but I think they have like a dinner box that might be worth it. Two mediums, some breadsticks and wings. That's a solid like 50 bucks worth of food. Oh, heck yeah, that's mad worth. Tell Jill, let's get that bitch ordered. So it'll be here before the end of the match. Hurry up, tell her Joe, did you tell her yet? Holy shit, you guys are joking, right? I don't want that shit, it's like cat food, but we're not cats. It's the equivalent of that shitty cats movie James Corden was in. Yeah, we're good, Jill is already ordering and it should be here soon. So you guys wanna split the bill or are you gonna just leech off it like some rats? Michelle ain't gave me none of her money from those book sales, so I'm beat. Yo, Bill, can you cover for me? Shit, the only thing I'm covering is myself when I go to bed. I don't want to sit here while you guys talk about this blasphemy of Pizza Hut. What is wrong with you, man? It's absurd that you guys think that's a fair deal. But I'll leech. Sure as hell ain't paying for it. Yeah, Joe, we're both going to be leeches. Sorry, man. We got you next time, though. Not even going to hold you guys. Jill is paying for it, but I was just going to pocket y'all's money, so it's all good. We're technically all leeching. Well, that's mad toxic. You're getting a minus rep on your Steam profile, bitch. No one is going to trade for your white zombas anymore. Bro, I was joking. Relax. Don't say that. Don't do it, please, Bill. I can't take another minus rep on my profile. You already have minus reps, bro. You're already a shit person if you got some minus reps on your Steam profile. Shit. I might add it as, swell, who steals from your friends? Screw you guys. I'll just remove it. I don't care. I have all the power on my Steam profile. Leave those comments and I'll just eat y'all's slices of pizza. I don't care. Only thing you should be eating is your dementia medicine. You need that shit because you ain't got no sense right now. I have enough sense to say, happy 4th of July, y'all. Sorry about the videos, but they will still be coming out. Have a good 4th. Also, don't buy fireworks from your grocery store. Shit's a scam. All right, boys, we're in the semifinals. This is where most people will break, but not us. We're moving. We're moving hard and fast, ready to destroy anything in our path. Let's beat these guys. What kind of name is Sushi Rollers? You guys think they're from Japan or something? Isn't that where sushi is from? Bro, what? Sushi is from Joe. It's a country in Asia. You should look it up. Might need specifications for it, but it should be there. Sushi is from Joe what? Is it a country or are you talking about me, Joe Biden, the president of the United States? I don't make sushi, Barack. Joe mama, get shit on, bro. No one cares where sushi is from. It's dead fish. Who eats dead fish like that hobbit that went crazy from Lord of the Rings? Nasty as hell. At least fry that shit or bake it. What the heck is Lord of the Rings? Is that like a Harry Potter movie? I've seen those. Harry Potter and the Lord of the Rings. Was it like the fifth movie or something? Bill, shut up and go for the ball. But honestly, you deserve to be dropped from the roster and off a cliff for what you just said. How dare you? Just how dare you? You are a disgrace to the presidents and I just hate you. Get out. Get the hell out of this call. Whoa, easy there, Barack. Easy there, buddy. Sorry, Bill, he's very sensitive about keeping Harry Potter 
and Lord of the Rings separate. One is about a quest, and the other one is about some chosen kid who couldn't kill Voldemort when he had the chance in, like, the first movie when he was on the back of that dude's noggin. That's my bad, man. Sorry, Obama, I didn't know you liked it that much. Maybe we can watch it sometime or something. Hang out with Michelle and let me third wheel. I wouldn't let you near Michelle with your reputation. Dude's got more history with females than R. Kelly. Don't hate me because I'm beautiful. Everyone likes me. What can I say? It just so happens that a majority of them are women. Excluding Hillary, I'm pretty sure he might be a dude. Bro, we've been saying that. Hillary is 100% a dude in a girl suit or something. I ain't a fan of her or him, whatever the fuck it is. Really don't like the way she talks about emails. She was proven to not have anything too classified. But she did have some shit, I will say, but that's all water under the bridge. You're just saying that so you don't get investigated, you little rat. You know you've probably done worse things compared to her, and you're using her as a diversion. Wouldn't doubt your ass was the ones to out she had the emails in the first place. Whoa there, Obama. Why are you defending Hillary so much? You just said you don't like her. I don't like Bill, bro, overstepped with that Harry Potter comment. Can't believe that shit. I don't care if it was a mistake, you are genetically born with the ability to decipher Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings. Comparing the two is like comparing water and fire. They're vastly fucking different, you old bitch. Learn the difference or get dropped from the roster. I don't think he meant anything by it, Obama, but hey, man, just apologize so we can win this game. We're lucky to have no goals scored on us. Yeah, I really didn't relax, Obama. It's not worth losing this tournament over. We're playing good without talking about the game. So let's keep it that way. Not trying to take an L because I mixed up two movie franchises. All right, but that shit better not happen again. I have standards. I need you to realize that I can't let that slide if it happens again. Nothing personal, but I will lose my shit. Brother man sounds like he's from the backwoods of Mississippi with the way he says again. When's the corn going to get planted, Farmer Todd? Damn it, Bill. You're just making it that much worse on yourself if you keep messing with Obama. Just stop doing that shit so we can keep on gaming and not cripple under the semifinal pressure. Bill, you're pissing me off with your ferret-headed looking ass. I would rather play with Donald again instead of your ass. I don't care how good you are. I don't care with your nerd self. Acting like Harry Potter and Lord of the Flies is so different. You think I care? Harry, this Lord of the Flies, that. Shut up with yourself. No one cares. No one cares. Understand that. Now go cry in your locked room where you go when Michelle yells at you. Guys, look at the passing play. Good pass, Bill. Good shot, Obama. Passing to him so it's on a platter. Bro got handed the goal and only had to drive into it. Man was given the freest shot that a blind person could hit just by using sound. A blind person could hit, but your ass would still choke it on my mother. Stop acting like that was such a good pass. A defender could have been there. There could have been a defender and I still would have placed it. Damn it, guys. I feel like Jerry Springer can y'all both shut the fuck up. It's a full circle and it's mad annoying. Stop being toxic, you little bitches, and move on. Play the freaking game or I will abandon this tournament. Call me a bitch if you want, but I ain't no bitch because I will hard dip. Abandon it so I can just take the FF without a ban. This shit is annoying. I mean, you just passed to M and Bill is up my ass. What do I need more to call this place hell? A duplicate of yourself would probably do. Haha, <laughs> Bill, you're so goddamn funny it makes me shed tears. Shut up, please. Hold your breath till the lights go out so I don't have to hear you talk. Bro, can you please stop arguing? I really need to win this for the viewers and y'all are just complaining and crying about shit y'all will forget about tomorrow. Y'all are just like the Rocket League community who gets mad over one game. How is it my fault that he cries about a probably common mistake? Shit's annoying. I didn't do anything wrong. All right, it's not worth it. I'm about to mute your ass. End it here and let's just pretend this shit never happened. I want to win this tournament and want to tag. Thank you, Bill. Don't say anything. Please, God, don't say anything. No matter what little voice in your head says, just don't let them win. Please, I need a win. Jill says I'm wasting my time, but if we win, she can see results. All right, fine, I'm done. Done like Joe's brain. Done like when a senator doesn't get the bribe. Done like Nancy Pelosi when she gets caught for insider trading. Bro, what did I say about the insider trading talk you're about to get on a list and it's not a good list? We all know it's real, but there isn't legislation to prevent it. Just trade the way she does why she's worth like 200 million. Absurd. Bill, stop trolling. You're causing them to get ahead. I haven't done anything. I'm just trying to get it off our side. I'm always back. Oh, damn it. I'm dusted. Holy fuck. Damn it. We're down two goals with 36 seconds left. 
Ain't no shot we're winning this. We're chopped. Chopped like tomatoes. Wild kickoff. Crazy how we were doing insanely good when we were toxic. But when we went to the old world peace type beats, we started taking a fat loss. Need to keep the toxic behavior up. We play better. Honestly, we've been saying that for like 30 years, and I think we're on to something. We need to make sure our toxic behavior keeps going. It sounds counterintuitive, but honestly, it feels like it works. Yeah, maybe y'all are right. When we focus too much, we get shit on. But when we're loosely focused on being toxic, we tear up the world. All right, so next game we roast. Nothing serious, nothing life or death. Just keep a conversation going, call out maybe once or twice, and then let the rotation flow. That's how we win. That sounds about right. We need to do that. Don't take anything seriously roast-wise. It's not personal. It's just for us to win. The viewers need a title, and we will give them that title. All right, gents, let's go into the next round. These guys are weak. We have them. We held them for like four minutes, but then choked in the final. Now let's turn this around and get this next win. Come on, boys. Yes, sir, let's go focus up. Word, we got this. Remember what we said, guys. Stay focused, keep being toxic, and let the rotation flow. All right, roast session, no trolling. We lose this, we're out of the tourney, and I'm probably gonna get blamed again in the comments. Yeah, I read those, stop saying I'm trash. I'm not trash. Trash at Rocket League? You? No, well, you're not trash. You're handicapped, there's a difference. Yeah, Bill, you do be acting like a brain isn't something you were born with sometimes. Like someone without the ability to think. Ironic coming from Abraham Lincoln's brother-in-law. You were at the start of World War I and here to see Donald Trump elected. Shit's wild. Dementia ass. Ass smash cast rash. Shut up, Bill. You can't talk about shit when you had a relationship with an intern and somehow managed to pull with that disgusting haircut. Bro, why do you inhale before every sentence? It's almost like you're always calling Donald out for being fat and breathing is catching up with you. Bro, supercharging his words by inhaling for three seconds before talking. Bro, bitches, did y'all not see that slot? Come on, guys, that slot was so good. Might even add that shit to the montage I'm making. Put some hard beat drops and then bam, this goal. Sorry, I have to breathe before talking. You know, to live. Breathing is a necessity while your backhanded comments are not. The fuck is this British speaking Obama? Hello, mate. Cheerio. Want to eat a shrimp on the barbie? That's actually Australian, Bill, not British. They're different. Different, my ass. They were both at one point a part of the British Empire. God knows if they still are. Bitches were trying to take everything way back when. Now they're just the United States' little cousin. Actually, they're our closest ally, by the way, gets shit on, undefeated against the British as of now. They realized, you know, after getting my ass kicked, this guy seems chill and bam, we're homies now. Kind of like the French, but we didn't fight the French. Guys, did you see that assist I did? Nice shot, Obama. Damn it, Joe. We agreed to be toxic and you're not being toxic enough. Don't focus on the game. We're going to get shit on if we do. And so help me God, if we don't get this clickbait, I'm going to trip you when you're going downstairs. Oh, shut up, you big bitch. Bro's always talking about some bullshit. Here, let me tell you some bullshit. The fact that you gave me the Presidential Medal of Freedom, bro. I literally just sat in the White House all day playing COD and maybe or maybe not screaming hurtful and somewhat derogatory things at random ass kids. But, you know, give me one of the highest civilian honors. That was Jill's make a wish for your dementia ass. She knew your brain was giving up and decided that I should give you something to remember. Like when bitches in Harry Potter get that Obliviate spell done on them. Maybe you'd remember. Shit, he might have already had that Obliviate spell done on him. Homie don't remember where his bed is, and even that, he's the president of the United States. Been seeing those Biden speeches lately? Oof, that shit is going downhill fast. Better than lying to the American public about having a relationship or you know that shit that happened in Somalia. Yeah, bitch, we remember. Asshat thinks it's okay to try to send use rangers to capture a terrorist leader. Stupid as hell, even I know better than that. Bro, you fucked up Kabul. Shut up, you can't be putting him down for that Somalia shit that went down 30 years ago. If we're gonna talk about anything, let's talk about how you managed to get by the medical screenings for dementia. Now, let's just talk about the shit way you handled Benghazi and those CIA agents that were killed because apparently we don't want to send our troops in. Shit was poorly handled and you left them out to dry. Tried to tell him. I was in the room and I tried to tell him. Bro was listening to his advisors on some shit and didn't even do anything. Crazy. Probably why I won the election in 2020. You didn't try to tell me shit you were in the room with us, sure, but you were playing Angry Birds on your phone. Don't act like you were there to advise shit. 
The only thing you were advised to do was shut the fuck up and play your game. Reminds me of the time George tried to coach me on some foreign policy. Bro was wild for that, and his son ended up invading a country that didn't have no nukes. The only nukes in the world right now are the ones being put on the net by me. Absolute cataclysmic shots taking place on Champions Field, which fits me perfectly because I'm a champion. You're only as good as the teammates you have on the roster. If we don't play good together, then you're not good. You're actually the equivalent of trash if we're trash. Says the bottom fragging shitter, you aren't as good as your teammates. You're good as you are and that's it. If you can't hit your shots or rotate, but your team can, it's not fair to say that you're as good as your teammates. With that logic, I might as well drop you guys and pick up some diamond twos. Hold on there, Grandpa. You're not going to be able to pick up anyone else. You don't like Donald or Bush, and everyone else has either tilted off or uninstalled the game. We're the remaining survivors of this shit, and you need to respect that. Yeah, Joe, a lot of talk coming from the guy who gets hand-fed most of his goals and hand-fed at the dinner table. I don't get fed at the dinner table anymore. Jill stopped doing that on my 80th birthday, and you know that. Wouldn't doubt it, but I mean, you do have a reputation of forgetting shit. So forgetting how to eat probably wouldn't have been at the bottom of that list. I'm just saying, man. Not trying to interject or anything, but Obama seems like the type of guy who pissed his bed at 24 years old. You look like the type of guy who used to snort Smarties in middle school because you thought it made you look cool. Really fits your whole youngster mentality you got going on there. I used to do that because it was cool. Obama was the type of guy to cry about everything that didn't go his way. And then when he met Michelle, realized that he finally had a true father in the family. Whoa, that's too far. Don't bully Michelle like that, too. That level. Target me and shit, but not the fam. Word was just testing the waters to see how far I could go. Basically like Russia, with every bit of foreign policy going on in the world. Really bringing a nice legacy to the Biden family tree. Hunter really made y'all out to be Russians on God. Bro, it was all alleged until they started getting proof. Now it's kind of real, but I'm just trying to play it off like it's not. Shit's mad annoying to see that on the news when in reality it was more like a miscommunication. God, it's so nice winning again. We're actually putting up solid stats. And I think we might win the whole thing in the long run. We just get through this next match after this one and we're cooking. Cooking like a chef in a kitchen, cooking like we're Donald's chef, cooking like the Bush's baked beans dog. We're in this, boys. Throttle back on the positivity, we need toxic behavior here. It helps keep the vibes in check and keeps us doing shit that isn't too hard sweaty, so we rotate normally. God, your stat line really screams, carry me. Please, Bill, need more from you next game. We're already doing solid, and we need more from you. What happened to what we saw in six mans? Sweaty ass players are holding me back on top of that, that y'all are rotating more aggro. So I choose not to push as much so we can have a solid defense. Rather, let the monkeys monkey and I'll just rotate around them. That's the selfless play we need for next match. We're fighting for the tournament live, so let's get this shit cooking. This is where we make a name for ourselves. Game three of the 2023 RLCS finals. This is where legends are named. On to Champions Field, we go bitches. Shut up, Bill. Let's cook, brother man. We're going into this with the momentum, so let's send these kids back to the loading screen. Yep, we need to come into this with the mentality we did in Korea. Winning only, which I mean, we didn't really win, but we kind of didn't lose. Nah, we should go in with the mentality we did when we went into Iraq. Kids got steamrolled and took a fat L for invading Kuwait. Yeah, you're right, Bill. We did solid in that unlike you in your presidency, or I don't know the previous four games we've played. Hey, bro, I'm warming up. Stop putting hate on my name like that. I'm just trying to get my vibes going along with my play. Bro's been warming up for like 30 years. It feels like, how can one hard peak before getting into a tournament? Bro's reverse warming up. Shit's more like warming down. Shut up, Joe. You're lucky I'm here. I'm providing my abilities and we're winning because of it. The fuck do you mean we're winning because of it? You're not the reason at all for us winning. Our results are solely based on if me or Obama choke. While you're just sitting in the back on the bottom of the leaderboards all the time. Yeah, at least Donald provided fun comms, bro, was like our own jester who peaked every now and then. You, on the other hand, are more like that make-a-wish kid we let play because we felt bad. At this point, we don't feel bad for you, my boy. We're losing belief in that. Oh, boo fucking who you ass hats chase all the time and never give me a chance to hit the ball. Only reason I play defense. I literally said this like two games ago. I'm playing deeper third because y'all chase too much. Bro. The farther you play makes the more of a need to cut the play. 
We can't just leave you in a one-on-one. -on -one. Flip resets may reflect your ability in the air, but when it comes to you on the ground, you might as well AFK because every ball is just going around your ass. Learn to play ones, you flashy bitch. I do know how to play ones. I play ones with Jill all the time. She's not that good at it, though. Ew, that's disgusting. You know she's like 80 as well, shit kind of. Ew, I don't want to think about that. I'm going to assume you meant one on ones in Rocket League. Think what you want to think, my boy. Just know it is what it is. I'm not bad at ones, Joe. You're the one who has no idea how to play ones. Run it up if you want to talk all that shit. Run yourself off a guardrail at the Grand Canyon, you monkey, after this tourney. If you beat me, you can stay on the roster. If you don't, you're out of this shit. And we're picking up Donald for all the marbles. Bet your beat, you rat. You have no ability in ones, and the only thing you play is threes. Feels like a year into the season, and I bet your old handicapped ass isn't even ranked yet. Talking about how I'm not good at ones, bitch, you're the one not even playing it. Ladies and gentlemen, the gauntlet has been thrown down. Glory to the winner. Pain for the loser. Will Bill take his place on the roster or will Joe prevent it? Will Donald make a return of the ages after Joe wins? Find out on pay-per-view this Sunday night. Stop milking that shit, Obama, and let me carry your ass to another win. Look, we're up one because of the greatest Joe Biden president. I mean, greatest president ever, Joe Biden. Bro stumbles on his words like he stumbles on the stage. Come on, bitch, get it out. Say it with me. I'm, I'm, I'm Joe, 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 B Biden, Biden. Bitch, I don't stutter. I mix up words sometimes, but don't stutter. Fuck you, man, you talk too much. Like hanging out with a little brother who won't shut up at all. How much do you guys think the pay-per-view cost should be for your one-on-one? -on -one? We could do like 15 bucks and then a fast pass to the next one if it happens. Obama trying to capitalize on this money grab like he always does with shit. Probably why he married Michelle. God knows she's swimming in the money like Scrooge McDuck. Now, we charge a flat 10 bucks because this won't even be a close one. I will shit on this kid solely with kickoffs because his old ass doesn't know what a speed flip is. You can beat kickoffs without a speed flip. Not gonna tell you how, just know it's possible. So enjoy getting countered by the guy everyone thinks has dementia. Young buck going to get shit on. God, I can't wait to play you. It's gonna feel like Christmas day when you get shit on. You're just toasted like a piece of Hillshire bread. You're cooked like a steak in Hell's Kitchen. Shafted like a something. I don't know what to compare that do. Ha ha, he said do instead of two. You fuck up your words sometimes. Hypocritical little bitch all walk and no talk. Literally because you can't talk. Dementia Incorporated wants to say some shit before we even play. Bro's got no idea he's going to get ran through. Gonna throw this ball of the wall. You best score this shit, Obama. Yep, thank you. No problem. Glad you passed instead of going for a flip reset like usual. At least you realize you're playing with a team instead of just a group of people you don't know. I do realize that maybe a few hoes played the mid, but no, it's my fault because I'm not willing to risk a mid-pass play that's going to get ripped down the throat across the field into our net. Well, maybe if you were passing and mixing up your play, instead of doing one or the other, maybe we wouldn't have to worry about that shit happening. Just do a slice mid and we're good. But you want to keep doing the same generic shit, which causes your play to become more predictable than Nancy Pelosi trading in the stock market. Yeah, Joe is right. You never mix your play and continue doing the same shit over and over. It's how you get called out on almost every ball you touch. They read your mind before you even thought of what you're going to do next. Bro, what the fuck is this an intervention? Bro, I don't give a shit. Holy, they're coming back. All right, focus up, bitches. We're not losing this because y'all wanted to start targeting me like Obama targeted civilians in Afghanistan. Bro telling us to focus up while being on the bottom of the leaderboard. Dead weight trying to make himself feel like he's done something this game. Bro thought he would be able to come in this discord and act like he would be doing all the work. But Bro is so far down on the leaderboards, you need a megaphone to talk to him. Boys, we do realize that points don't matter. It's about the impact you have on the field. Says the extra chromosome kid who's at the bottom of the leaderboards, you can't be acting like points don't matter when you have no stats. Look, all I'm saying is if you're in the post screen and you see seven centered balls as your stat line, you did nothing in that game. Holy shit, we're in the finals. Guys, we're in the finals. I didn't even realize we were this deep in the tourney. Holy shit, we might win this whole thing. Maybe if y'all stopped targeting me, we'd win. But nah, let's keep talking shit to Bill because that makes sense. Mad annoying you guys think that you can just not spread the roast out and win. We're really in the finals. After roasting most of these games, we come out and make it all the way to the end. 
Here's hoping we don't choke. God knows Joe probably will. Why are you coming after me? You're the one constantly on the bottom of the leaderboards. I mean, honestly, you're trying to divert hate on the dude carrying you. Shit's sad. Hold on there, Model T. You're not the one carrying shit. I'm the one who's been the solid and most consistent player on this roster, while Bill over there has been trying to figure out how to shoot the ball. And you've been looking for your vitamins since game one. Bullshit, man. I already took them before the game started. I knew you were going to say some shit like that, so I had Jill put them in a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Get out, played Lil, bro. You don't have the mental capacity to think about stuff like that. I don't believe that shit for a second. The only thing I've seen you do is crumble under the pressure of the most basic shots while you leave us in the backfield. I don't crumble under basic shots. What are you talking about, Obama? I'm the one sniping from downtown like prime Dwight Howard. Or Blake Griffin, should I say, because y'all are eating fresh shit because of how dog you guys are. Dwight Howard ain't much of a shooter, ain't gonna lie to you, Joe. He's a center with that height. Might be thinking about crowding the box. Who thinks about Dwight Howard anyway? All these NBA legends. And the first thing that comes to mind is Dwight Howard and Blake Griffin. Why not Kobe or I don't know LeBron? It's because they were on the TV set. Bro literally saw them on the freaking subway commercials. That's it. I can't believe I thought he was really watching the NBA. Man's just watching daytime television like The View or The Fucking Price is right. Tom Brady slams it home for a field goal. Let's go. You guys don't know basketball like I do. I'm like that. You're like a bag of popcorn, or should I say the equivalent mental of a bag of popcorn. Even then, that serves a use, and you do not. I'm the president. I serve a use. Why are you guys saying that? I got elected. With all them midnight votes that magically came in off of Mrs. Frizzle's ass, bros got the magic school bus that brings dead people back to suddenly cast a vote. Crazy Mrs. Harrison from 1878 got that Biden vote. They vote for me because I got two goals on this game while you got two chromosomes. Shut the fuck up with all that banter while you all the way at the bottom of the leaderboards. He's got you there. At least he puts numbers up. The only thing you contribute to is the cancer rate. Brother man creating more cases than Chernobyl. As I said, I'm playing the back line because y'all chase. What more do you need from me? Stats that say you're playing defense. Hell, 50 points could be a kickoff. You're not putting up numbers around. If we chase, then why don't you have like 40 saves? Bro, probably because not even pro RLCS players could get 40 saves in a game. Hell, the maximum record was like 10 or some shit. No shot anyone ever gets 40. I mean, the way you talk and you are, acting like you're playing the back line shit, your back line is more poor than the Maginot line in World War II, putting all that defense just to get shit on in the long run. Not to mention it's inconsistent. Just wait until we one-on-one, -on -one, you're going to realize how ass you have always been. I guess we're going to do it Thursday. Who do you guys have winning? Type it in the comments. Put Bill down some more. Bro, the dementia must be acting up if you think they have you winning. The only thing you're winning is a ticket to the insane asylum on a deserted island where you can't hurt people no more. People must be getting tired of their MMR losers. Only way the haters get me down is by putting me out. You have nothing on me, man. I'm going to destroy you to the point you have no ability to recover. And after, and only after, will I grant you the gift of getting the fuck out of our party and inviting Donald back. Ah, oh, shit. Someone help. I can't save this. Damn it, guys. What are we doing? Focus up. Sorry, I thought the guy playing the back line would be able to save that shit. Turns out I was wrong, I guess. Maybe you are, ass Bill. Jesus, what happened to flip reset or double touch? Now it's whiffing or own goaling. Yeah, no shot you're trying to put that on us. You jumped and panicked, thinking you had to dive it. Hell, at least make yourself be in front of the ball, not behind that shit. What is wrong with you, Bill? Maybe I have two teammates who always want to be upfield cherry picking every fucking ball while I'm on the goal line praying for a miracle in a one on three. Either stop trying to be Jazzer off the ceiling or we just lose this shit. Dunking this hoe going to see if I can follow. Shit's beat can't follow Bill, go for it. I got this. Holy hell, this kid just bullied me. What are we doing, team? Why are we allowing this? What are we thinking? God, how is this kid on our side? Sweaters are cherry picking our shit. Joe, you just need to have field awareness. You can't just let them be behind you like that with no knowledge. Oh, hell no, you're not talking, bro. You pushed out and did nothing on that ball. Literally, just let them through. Didn't even try. What are you doing? That was your fault, not mine. Do something next time, kid. Bill, you're choking the fuck out of this game, and it's starting to piss me off. 
Brothers really kissing his hose like that. Wild world we live in when we can't even play the game without Obama backing up Joe blindly. Or hear me out. He just sees through your shit play and realizes that you're actually trash at this game. Just wait, your time will come. This one-on-one -on -one is about to shake the universe. You're about to be destroyed in 1080p. Not 4K because I don't have 4K, but yeah, be scared. Bitches, we're down right now and we're kind of in a shit spot. Why can't you guys just provide some peak moments here? I would like to win, but you guys are making it hard. I'm done being in this argument. All right, fine, we must unite, Bill, for the win. For the viewers and the boys at home, we must win this. To you, Bill, rip that on net, baby. Say less, B. Chisel. Let's fucking go, bro. We're in there. We're in there. We did it. We're tied. Let's win this shit. Let's go. Holy, what a shot and what a pass. Let's go, boys. Let's win this. Set aside our stupid differences and let's win this. Yes, sir. I don't come all this way to lose in the finals. Joey boy doesn't lose. The only thing we do here is win. You know why I'm not called Woey? Because it has a W and I took it out and distributed that shit here. Well, we choke. Shit, I shouldn't have dove that. Talking too much, I guess. Stop talking, guys. Focus up. Joe, what the actual shit did you just say telling us to be quiet, but you're the one rambling? Like half that shit I didn't even hear. What are you talking about? Jesus, man, you tossed this game. But I still find the need to blame Bill. Bro, that was literally just Joe diving his third. That wasn't me at all that time. I swear it was literally just Joe. You know what I'll say? That was my fault. I was talking a little bit too much and it caused me to not focus as much. I mean, I probably was just focused on being last man, not saying it's your fault or anything, Bill, but you did push up to early and waste your challenge. Bro, I can't believe we were up two. Now we're down one. Like, what did I do to deserve this God? Let's focus up here. Come on, I can't lose. I want a title, please. It's fine if we lose the first one. We lost the first one in the semis and we ended up coming out on top. We got this just focus up next match and stop choking, Bill. I swear to God, it's always you for some reason. Bro, y'all bitches give up to early. We still had a chance of coming out on top, but all you're doing is choking. Shit's mad annoying. Please, can you guys stop blaming me? And let's win. We lose this, and I lose the will to continue playing with you guys. Nah, you're not getting away from our one-on-one -on -one little bitch. We're heads up Thursday, you're done, square up. You ain't getting away from this at all. We'll talk about awkward. I shit on Joe and he kicks me from the group. Now we have more matches to play in the finals. This isn't going to be fun. Look, Bill, if we win, he might reconsider. You have to sweat on this one and try not to toss. And don't argue with Joe. It's going to end with us just losing this shit. Yeah, man, if we win our tourney here, I swear we can play sometimes. Not all the time, but sometimes. I already messaged Donald and asked him if he wanted to play. Word, let's win then. I would like to still hang with you guys, but I don't want to be hated on when we do play. I get I shit on you, Joe, but that doesn't mean you got to tilt on me. So you're already starting shit. You're bringing shit up to tilt me, bro. I can't believe you think that's going to help your case. I mean, God, I can't believe that's in. What the fuck are we doing, team? This shit is causing me to toss. Well, you don't got to start blaming me. I didn't do anything, Joe. I'm the one trying to play the rotation while Bill is trying to tilt you inadvertently, I believe. I didn't mean to tilt you, Joe. I didn't think you would get mad like you got mad when I beat you in the one-on-one. -on -one. See, that exact shit is what makes me not want to play that backhanded comment that makes me want to just ram you all game. You talk so much shit, and you know you're being toxic when you say it. Didn't hear it at first, but now I do. Yeah, Bill, you're kind of being toxic when you say shit. Like, oh, why are you toxic like you were when I shit on you in that one-on-one? -on -one? Hear it. Yeah, that's mad toxic. Thank you. Now you know why I'm pissed about it. Man's literally causing me to tilt without even trying, I think. Bro's probably playing it off like he doesn't, though. You all are acting wild right now. And I think you all should step back and hear yourselves. I haven't done shit, and you're acting like I've been telling Joe he's a dementia douchebag that no one has ever loved. But see, I haven't said that. Yeah, that's a major backhanded comment right there. Come on, man, do better. Do better? Y'all's entire mental is stemmed off of the fact that you guys roast each other. Shit's wild that you think people are just magically going to not be toxic when that's your entire personality. Stop being bitches. And the funny thing is that it works. Our mental is like that of apes. We play together and treat each other like shit, but we come out on top. You take it to far and straight bully, not even trying to be funny or anything. Ah, boo-hoo, no one gives a shit, Joe. You talk the most shit out of everyone, and I saw the comments. Everyone thinks you were toxic in that one's game. That's cap. No one said I was toxic. They were all saying, thank God Bill is gone and Donald is coming back. I seen the comments myself. Is it possible there were comments of both? 
Why do we have to say it was one or the other? It doesn't make sense. Why can't we just play guys? Because he's toxic and I'm done with him. Not even toxic, more so annoying. You're annoying as hell, Bill, and I want you out of this fucking call. Capish? What the hell is capish? Bro, are you joking right now? Dementia bitch boy wants to act like he isn't the sole reason everyone is toxic when they're on a call with him. All right, shut up. We need to win this. Put our toxic beliefs aside and put our effort into the game. I'm the sole reason we're in this game right now. So I suggest you shut the fuck up and put your head down. Keep gaming and just let me carry. AFK if you must. You're not carrying shit here. So you can get that little bit of ego and will to live you have left and keep it yourself. You're not gonna go in to help us win shit and I bet you're gonna choke. Bro, so help me God if you guys don't shut up. I didn't come this far in the finals to choke. Jesus, they're really on the attack again. We've been on our side for so fucking long we might as well be considered the North Koreans. Damn it, I really backflipped. The actual shit is this game. Controller DC or some shit. God, I can't believe I just choked. Bro choking so hard his mic is cutting out and sounding like one of them 1950s microphones. Bro literally going back in time because he's choking so much. God, Joe, I can't believe you're missing that. You're GC too on a good day, yet you're playing like a handicapped blindfolded person with no arms or legs or face or head. Frankly, you just matter. You're floating in space with no set destination. That's how bad you're playing. I made a mistake. Shut up, Obama. You make 30 when I make one. It's almost like I'm the best and you're the worst. Best in this lobby. Ha ha. You make me laugh. A dementia infested fool thinks he can act like he's the best. Bros is somehow the second best president in the country and there's only one currently. Stretch of a joke there, bud. You should start emailing that shit around, should talk to Hillary, pretty sure she has experience in that department. Hey, hey, she was chill about it and complied with all forms of investigations that were taking place? I mean, I did swindle them a bit, but that's not a problem. In all honesty, there was only a few classified emails she was sending. So she was sending shit, wow, thanks for putting that into a full painted Michelangelo motherfucking picture, we appreciate that. The only thing she was sending is information on how Obama looks like a bitch and Joe looks like a weasel that escaped the zoo. Bro, literally be looking like that rat guy from Harry Potter. And you look like a generic old ass man from Congress. Bro's literally a combination of every person that's ever been in the Senate. In all fairness, me and you both have been senators, so we're in that combination of old ass people you're comparing him to. Technically a roast on yourself. Yeah, roast D's nuts. I don't give a shit about if we were senators or not. I care that this fucker is in the game when we don't want him here. Why are you roasting me when Obama is always the one hard tossing? Look at him on the scoreboard. God knows how he's not scrutinized every living day because of how he somehow always ends up on the bottom of the leaderboards. Hold up. You got a point, Obama. Why are you always at the bottom of the leaderboards? Why shouldn't we replace you instead of Bill? At least Bill performs. You, on the other hand, are always on the bottom. I swear your stats have more zeros than our national debt. Bitch, I gifted you the presidency and gave you the vice presidency. Stop acting like I didn't hand feed you almost all of your political career. Respect that shit. The only thing you hand fed me is a stat bore that looks more lopsided than your hairline. I told you, Joe, Obama is the weak link. Bro doesn't do anything most games and causes the losses. Say what y'all bitches want, but I know damn well we're all at fault for that loss. Bill, get the fuck out the party and stop trying to cause distrust between me and Joe. Yeah, I don't know what I'm saying. You're done, Bill. Later. Let's get Donald back in and get the gang back together. Don't want this little weasel to break up the original band. All right, fine, y'all bitches to rank with that fat orange piece of crap. I don't care, later bitches, y'all are more inconsistent than the weather patterns. Damn it, that joke wasn't as funny. I don't care, screw you guys. Bro, can you stop talking and shut the fuck up, please? Get out, bye, bye nerd, later, get out.